Hello everyone and welcome back to another Drive Life, this time in a Mazda Miata. This is a, I cannot remember the year of this, it's relatively older I think. Uh, but this is a beautiful scheme and color we have going on here behind us, a whole black and white. I love this look. Uh, we're going to be taking this car out today and we're going to take this to the Vinewood Hills to start this off. Probably going to be the best place to see how this car is. But before we go, I just want to say that this part is fucking amazing. That the headlights actually pop up. That's pretty cool. Yes, that is a huge feature of the, on this car. Um, and the fact that they actually added it in the game is even cooler. So we're going to go ahead and get it started. We really don't need the lights right now. I wish I could keep them up, but not have them on. That would be interesting. We're going to have to get some gas before we go up to the Vinewood Hills. So really quickly, let's go ahead and see where the nearest gas station is. Looks like we take a left and a right. Uh, let's see. Maybe there's one up here near the actual Vinewood Hills. We'll just go there. Uh, that way we're closer to the Vinewood Hills area. Uh, this car is fully maxed out, has turbo, all that stuff. Not sure what light is making that green, but we'll just take this way. Uh, I always see bugs in this car on the road, and it kind of reminds me of like a spider because uh, of how low and you know low it is. So I think this game or this car kind of feels the same way. I mean, it just looks like a spider in this game. You know, just very low, very sleek, sleeker than other cars. Uh, just a really nice look. So we're gonna go ahead and get over in this lane. I might even go crazy in this little car and do some crazy stuff. I keep seeing Michael's hair pop through the top of this car. Especially with the white roof and his black hair. It's totally not legit. Hopefully we don't run, run out of gas. I have the headlights and taillights smoked. So if they look extremely dark it's because they're smoked along with the tint of the vehicle. The whole car is just completely murdered out in tint. And I'm really not sure what this asshole is doing over here. That'd be really cool if we could um uh, I don't know. Michael, sit still in there. You, you're really killing me. I might just run the headlights. Because who, who cares? I mean, just more lights, the merrier. I like how they're yellowish. That's kind of cool. Makes it look older. Okay, I'm not sure what this asshole's doing, but I'm going to cut him off. That would be cool. Oh, you could hear the way that turbo sounds in this. Pretty damn cool. Okay, I'm just going to turn right. That California stop, though. Holy shit. It's not as glued to the ground as I would say in real life probably. Wow, that looks amazing from up top. Wow. Really, really cool. Okay, we gotta get gas, then we're gonna hit up the hills, and we're gonna try to thrash it up in the hills. I guess I turned the lights off for some reason. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, but we are getting kind of low on gas. I swear we better make it to the gas station. There's gonna be some issues here. Come on, people. Uh, this car sits over the Fudo. You'll be able to find this car in the description so you guys can download it and, you know, share your different color schemes of your what you would make it look like. I think that would be pretty interesting because Bugs has a Miata and I'm sure he'd love to see that. You guys could possibly, like, tweet him that stuff if you guys play this game and do that. That'd be interesting. Come on, I am in the red here. It's just going down. This I don't think this car should be guzzling that much gas this quick. But, I don't know. Just this mod, I guess. Not that advanced. As you want it to be. I don't know, after a while I guess the headlights just shut off. I don't know. Taco truck, you need to relax. I need to get in this lane. At least I got first, so that way when the... You know, I just can't do it. We gotta get to the real nitty gritty. I don't really want to just bike through the... Bike! There it is. I don't want to drive through the city. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just get to the gas station as fast as possible. Okay. Let's see, there's an entrance this way. We'll just turn right and then turn into here. Quickly get gas. God, this car is low. I felt like I was in a scrape. But we are good. Okay, let's go ahead and get gas. And good. Perfect. Okay, so now that we're kind of near the hills, we're going to just exit out of here. And then we'll just take this ride and go up here into the hills immediately. And uh, basically, we're just testing to see how this car handles. Um, uh, to be honest, on the way over here, I don't see it having that good of tight turns like it would in real life, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, in real life, that thing can take corners just so good. It looks so smooth when I am behind bugs and I watch them in that car. So, as of right now, I've, I have a feeling we're just going to keep losing the back end. So, I'm going to go ahead and pass these cars. See, back end. Major accident I just caused. That's so good. Okay. Um, let's fix everything up. <laughs> Already into it. First turn. Dead. That's so good. Okay. Uh, we'll use the e-brake and stuff. I think that one is the one. Yeah, unfortunately, I wish the e-brake was a That's a much smarter button. The duck should be RB, but that's just me 
So we're going to go ahead and cut this up. Again, I don't think this card's going to make it as well as I want it to in the Vinewood Hills area. The back end is extremely loose and just seems to spit out. So, which is unfortunate. Maybe it's the high speeds. Maybe at a slower speeds it would take the corners more tight. It's actually really not that bad. It's very smooth. Very smooth. We'll see, though. We're going to get it going. And towards the end of the episode, we're going to go ahead and get the cops on our ass. Holy shit. We're going to get the cops on us. That way we can see if this vehicle is good enough to be used uh, through a getaway. And then Bugs will know if now he can go and get away from the police in this car if he really needs to do that. Which, I could see that being possible. But then again, maybe not really. The only reason why I would say that is because how, how spider-like the car is. I mean, you can get in front of a car, and they would not know where you went. And if they went past you fast enough, then shit, you never know. I don't know. It, you'd have to see how it works. I'm not a scientist. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of get out of the fucking Vinewood Hills. That is what I'm talking about with the back end slipping out. Just It's not holding it like it should. Uh, at, at relatively slow speeds, this thing should be turning fucking tight. I don't know what that person was doing. I love the sound of that turbo. It's like, I can't even replicate it. It's just amazing. Sounds fucking amazing. Go ahead and get past these. I wish there was more roads that were straightaways where they had splits where you could pass. That would be kind of cool. So what we have a lot out here in California. Areas where you can pass. Holy shit. Wasn't bad. I actually do like this car. It's very smooth. Like the turning when you go and turn, it's not really jerky. So like, look at that. Look at how smooth that is. Before in another car, if you, if you hit it, it would just look very aggressive. Like, I can make myself look legitimately uh, like I'm driving this car. Can I not go in first person? That's weird. Okay. Anyways, like, it, it's just a very smooth car. The handling on the Blista uh, has always seemed to be very good. Even in GTA 4. Kind of. I don't know. I shouldn't have said that. But, all right, we're going to pass this guy up. Yeah, see, that's just real smooth. I'm able to stay in between the lines in this car. A lot easier, per se, than other vehicles. I don't know. It's just... They should make this type of handling for every car. I've got to admit, this is a very nice handling. I would love this in a police car so it wouldn't look like I'm on crack all the time. Yeah, this car is beautiful the way it just spiders like that. Go ahead and pass this guy on the right. That's what I'm saying. We need pass lanes. Not going to make it. Oh, that... That would be so scary to see if you were just driving and all of a sudden this car spun out of control, hit a barrier, and does some crazy shit. That would be horrible. Okay, so like I said, at fast speeds, the car just doesn't really com compute with the turns that you have to make. It's just, if you're going too fast, you won't really get that uh, precision that you want from a Miata, especially being so low and small like that. Damn. Oh, I just couldn't do it. It wouldn't turn, and I think I killed them. That's very, it's very sad, actually. Um, but all right, we're going to turn right here and just mob it down this road. This is relatively a, uh, a long road with not that many turns. Hopefully, if there is any cars, we can just kind of shoot around them like this. Turning into me. Stopped for fucking ages and then turned. Got to fucking love it. Okay, yeah, these really... Uh, Bugs always say... I've never drove a Miata, but uh, Bugs always says they're relatively not fast. It's just, uh, I don't know, performance, I guess you could say. See, like this right here, I don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, my God. Um, but I'm sure they do have, you know, relatively some speed. I mean, it is, you know, something that could speed, probably. So, and it's like back here on the back roads, it's, it's all right. I wish there was no fucking traffic, so that way I could just let it rip. Because these roads are good enough for me to not have to lose control. Like, yeah, that's actually really smooth. Like, this has been... Uh, I don't know where he's going. Holy Whoa, shit. He was close. turning right. Yeah, what are you doing? He, like, turned right into the oncoming lane. Yeah, this is actually a good place. Is these back roads out here near, you know, the Grand Snore Desert, Sandy Shores and stuff. It's actually a really good place. Because there's huge roads. You can pass on them. You don't have to worry about tons of traffic. Look at this. No cars. No cars. We are going 143 miles per hour. I don't know if that's... We are going to mob it through Sandy Shores in a Miata. That is awesome. This is perfect. You know how cool this would be to have a Miata in like SAPDFR and they have real Crown Vicks? Oh, that would be the best video ever. Dude. Okay, that was not a bad turn. That wasn't bad at all. 
relatively uh, decent. Yeah, it's slower speed. Okay, yeah. See, it just it spin. It wants to spin out, and I wasn't even paying attention that we need possibly gas. And we are extremely far away from Simeon. Simeon's gonna be pissed. We'll probably start heading back. Yeah, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn around and we'll go from Sandy Shores into the city. Yeah, it should be a lot tighter turning than that. But uh, we'll go from Sandy Shores into the city back to Simeon's. And, um, okay, there we go. And then uh, we'll be able to get the cops on us after we get gas. Let's just get gas really quick so that way I don't run out on the way back. Looks like someone's already in trouble with the police. Pull up here on the gas station. Let's see, is it a pursuit? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and go over to this gas station. We got to get the cops on us. So let's see. Let's make a robbery. Let's make a robbery. There it is. Let's shoot. Oh, man, I don't have any fucking guns. It's such a lame thing. Get all weapons. Fuck it. No guns to all guns. How to do it. Now we gotta get this store clerk. Get on the ground! Give me the money. Can you not rob in fucking single player? I never get that. I don't get why you can't do it in single player, but you can do it in... Oh, there we go. It's okay, where's the money in this one? Wonder when the cops are gonna get here. Okay, looks like he has no money in this one. Oh, wait, I can take the money. I just gotta go up behind it. Perfect. Same principle. I guess that one I was just able to shoot out. There we go. Oh, that looks like a real cash register. Thank you for chopping with us. Alright, let's see if I can take it out of this one unless I already took it. Already took it. Get out of here, Frank, uh, Michael. Come on. Where are the cops? I'm gonna be here to... Come on! You fuck! Go! We are out of here spinning like donkeys. That is what I'm talking about right there. We have a ton of units involved in this already. Uh, I have three stars. That robbery of the store really gets you a ton of stars. I'm going to go ahead and just pause it really quick. And get Simeon's area on the map. It's going to be this area right here. Not exactly sure what building it is, but... General is alright with me. Uh, we'll just go straight. Looks like we're going to be heading towards a roadblock, though. Okay, can the Miata go off-road? Oh, yes, it can. That's great. I don't know if they got a tire, but hopefully they didn't. I don't have bulletproof tires, because I don't think that's something that you can really get cheaply in real life. Come on. I don't want to have to ruin this car. Got to give this back to Simeon. God, they got extremely bright lights up in this motherfucker. Get off of me, you fuck. Hit it, hit it. Oh, come on. So fucking close. That would have been such a good drip. I guess that's what happens when you uh, get in a vehicle pursuit in a Miata. You just have the ability to sneak past cars at all costs. Wow, these cops are relentless. They are pulling out in front of me. The jail alarm is going off. Whoa, dude. Oh, this Miata has such spider-like things. Like, you can go this way, and then just all of a sudden like this, and they could not... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Shit. They did it, too. That was so awesome, and they blew up. Oh, man. Dude, we got to get out of here right now. They're going to get out of the cars and start shooting. That guy died. I'm going to get behind this car. Wow, that was pretty fucking crazy. All my glass is completely blown out. Holy dicks. Dude. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make it. These cops are fucking crazy right now. There's shit tons of them. Oh, I can't I can't even get in a straight line. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Turn around. There we go. I'm gone. Okay, I got them all jumbled up there. There's about five or six cops all in a group there. 70 to 80 miles per hour. Bitch, I'm going 120. You better recognize shit is going down. Okay, we just got a unit right here. Oh, I hate when they're in front of me. Dude. I'm trying to pit him with the Miata, and it's not necessarily working. Come on, you fuck. You are fucking up this rental. This test drive. Not even a rental. It's a fucking... Dude, he's holding it down from in the front. It's actually quite pissing me off. There we go. Oh, that motherfucker's good. I'll give him that. He had a lot of training in that department or something because... Oh, no, I hit the spikes. Oh, no. 
This is gonna be so bad for me. Oh shit. Oh. We gotta get to Franklin's. We also are Franklin's. We gotta get to Simeon's. We also have to lose the cops. Uh oh, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna make this one. They are doing me good. That doesn't sound good. They are doing me good. Holy shit. I have one front left gone. I shouldn't have hit that damn spike. I should have realized that it was a PT van and that they would have had a spike just deployed. All right, we might actually lose them. I hear the sirens, but we're at the point where we kind of got away. Shit. All right, let's just evade. Now we got to evade and then we can go back to Simeon's if we don't have the cops on us. Uh, this is a general area, but I can't go right. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and this alleyway over here, possibly by the strip club. Come on. Dude, it has no turning ratio radius anymore. Jesus. Holy shit. Okay, we're in the back. We're about to lose them, hopefully. We got three stars. Wasn't that bad. And it looks like the dog's barking now. I guess perfect timing to end this video. So we gotta get back to Simeon so I can... Okay, hopefully I lose them. Okay, I lost them. Alright, let's get back to Simeon's. But you hear the dog barking, which I'm sure you probably don't. I do apologize. I'm just going to cut these people off since we were in a vehicle pursuit up in this bitch. Hopefully Simeon, Simeon's not too mad with this. Okay, <laughs> this has no darting. Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Drive Life in the Miata. You know, Bugs can really look at this episode and tell if he wants to cr commit criminal acts in this vehicle or not. And if he does, then God be with him because it was pretty scary. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next video.